Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandy and today I'm going to share something really personal with you and that is that I am a crybaby. I cry tears of joy, tears of sadness, tears of inspiration, tears of gratitude, pretty much everything can easily make me cry. And one of the things that I see so often in my work that truly makes me cry is when I see a child with a chemically medicated spirit. So how do I know that their spirit has been drugged? Well, first of all, you can see it. And secondly, the kids tell this to me themselves. They say they don't feel good. They feel heavy. They feel uncomfortable. They don't feel like themselves. And the parents tell me, like the dad who said, Dr. Sandy, since my child's medicated, I feel like I've lost him. Where is my little boy? Folks, too often the practitioners who use medication to control and manage learning behavior and mood challenges don't tell the parents that it is possible that these medications will also suppress that wonderful spirit of the child. And that's enough to make me cry. So read my article today and find out what are the consequences for a child of having a drug spirit and what happened to one little boy whose spirit was set free. And for now, this is a happy Dr. Sandy saying bye until next time.